It's been a month and a half since the war between Israel and Hamas devastated Gaza. Now world leaders from a dozen countries are meeting to raise money to rebuild what was lost, and it's a familiar scene. Without a permanent peace treaty, the Hamas-run coastal strip has seen three wars in the past six years. Donors don't want to fork over millions, only to be in the same position a few years from now. The U.S. did pledge some $212 million at the meeting, though most of the rest of the funding is expected to come from the Gulf states. The goal? Raise $4 billion. That's the dollar figure Palestinian officials say is the minimum needed to reconstruct homes and infrastructure damaged or destroyed this summer. The coastal strip was hard hit by the 50-day war between Israel and Hamas. It's estimated some 100,000 people lost their homes in the conflict. The fighting left more than 2,100 people dead. But with the world now embroiled in another major conflict in nearby Iraq and Syria, donor fatigue is a concern, as is the need for lasting peace in Gaza. That's why Secretary of State John Kerry used the opportunity to push for a two-state solution, which he says would create long-term stability in the region. Kerry, of course, was the driving force between the nine months of negotiations between Israel and the Palestinians that collapsed back in April. Notably absent from Sunday's conference was Israel. According to Haaretz, the fear was many Arab donors, including the Palestinian Authority, would not attend if Israel accepted its invitation. Western-backed Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas said in his recent speech to the UN General Assembly, Israel had carried out war crimes and its leaders should be prosecuted. The U.S. State Department called that speech counterproductive. For Newsy and Elizabeth Hagedorn, multiple sources of broader view.